Now, if you own a Mercedes, then you may have heard of a thing called the Service Care Plan. In fact, a few of you in the comments section on my channel have asked me to check it out. So what I did was take kind of one of Mercedes-Benz's most popular models, take the servicing costs for pay-as-you-go, and then I compared with it paying monthly, and I have all the results that I'll share with you in a minute. And then also, finally, I'll cover all the benefits you receive from actually servicing it at a main Mercedes-Benz retailer in the first place. So back to basics, what is a Mercedes service care plan? Well, basically most manufacturers offer this or something similar, and it's a way of spreading your cost of servicing over a period of time. So yes, say for example, you bought a brand new car and then you did average mileage. In a year's time, yes, you could pay for that service on the day, or with the service care plan, you can pay for it monthly. And there are typically different plans available where you can do two years or three years or four years and that sort of thing. And there's also sometimes an option to pay for it upfront as well. But what does it cover? Well, servicing is actually tailored to each individual model. So let me explain. Say, for example, you have an automatic, which to be fair, I know most Mercedes are these days. The transmission fluid of that automatic gearbox does need changing in the car's life. So that, of course, have to be factored in. But on the opposite end of the spectrum, if you have an electric car, there's a lot less to do and the price of the service care plan reflects that. So what's actually covered? Well, typically on the service care plan, it's just things that are usually covered on routine maintenance, you know, that you'd usually get done on a service, on an annual service. So things like engine oil to uh, transmission fluid, as I mentioned, and then you've got things like brake fluid, to spark plugs, again, if applicable, and then air filters, fuel filters, you know, kind of that sort of thing. Things that aren't covered are things like wear and tear parts. So these can be things like tires to wiper blades or suspension components or brakes or that sort of thing. So those must be factored in separately. So how much does the service care plan cost? Well, before I show you that, you yourself must check with your local Mercedes and see if a service care plan is right for you. I'm producing this video at the start of 2023, so prices in this video are correct at the time of recording. However, they are unique to the car that I have picked. So I've picked a brand new C-Class and kind of chosen average mileage over four years. So they're unique for this one. They will vary if the car is brand new, if you take one out in the first year, or if you take one out and it's over a year old. So you must factor that in as well. Check with your local Mercedes if you're not sure. So onto the most important part, the pricing. So with servicing, typically if you didn't know, um, it alternates between an A service and a B service each year. So that is a minor, major, then the next year, minor, major, minor, major, kind of like that. But during those services, there can be additional items that Mercedes-Benz recommends that you do. And of course, this varies from model to model I mentioned previously. So let's have a look at the C-Class. So on year one of a brand new C-Class, there is an A service, and the price of that is this. On to year two, this is a B service with a brake fluid and dust filter. So the price of the second service is this. On to year three, this is an A service with spark plugs and an air filter. Uh, that is this. And then on to year four, finally, B service again, but this time brake fluid and dust filter. And the price of that service is this. So if we total them all up, it comes to this figure. What about the service care plan? So obviously those prices there are pay as you go over four years. So what about the service care plan? Well, the service care plan for the C-Class at the time of recording this video is £35 a month, times up by 48 for four years, and it comes to this figure. Notice there's a bit of a difference there, so if we take those two away, your saving on that is £472.08. It's a bit of a saving there. And of course, if you divide that by four, then you can see how much you save per service. So. Pretty good for that one. Of course, it can vary from model to model, so double check with your local Mercedes if you're not sure. Or if you want to do it yourself, you can go on to mymercedesservice.co.uk. I'll put the link in the description down below, and you can see how much it is for your uh, servicing pay as you go. But then also, you can see how much a service care plan is on the main Mercedes-Benz website. So why choose a Mercedes-Benz service in the first place? And most importantly, what benefits are there? 
So there's actually quite a few benefits when it comes to a Mercedes-Benz service. So we'll start out with the most obvious ones first. Number one, they use the most up-to-date trained Mercedes-Benz technicians. And rightly so, because all this high specification and gadgetry in the cars, they know how all of it works. And mechanically, of course, as well. And speaking of mechanically, actually, when it comes to parts, they use official Mercedes-Benz parts. And here was something I learned the other day, actually, that I only just found out. Um, all of the uh, parts that Mercedes-Benz fit are actually guaranteed. They have a manufacturer's warranty up to two years on those parts fitted, which is really, really good. I don't know many other manufacturers that do that, so that's pretty good. Now, there's also a huge, huge benefit that not many people know about. And certainly if you're watching this, if this is the first Mercedes you've owned, that you own right now, you will definitely want to listen to this. So this is a thing called roadside assistance. And um, sadly, if you don't buy a car at a main Mercedes-Benz retailer and um, you buy it from like a local garage or something, they might not actually tell you because they might not know. So listen in. Roadside assistance is actually uh, a breakdown cover and it is valid on all Mercedes-Benz and it's up to 30 years breakdown cover. So yes, your car right now might even have breakdown cover and you might not even know about it. But the only uh, stipulation is that it needs to be serviced by Mercedes each year and then it renews automatically. So it's a huge, huge benefit when it comes to Mercedes-Benz servicing that you have um, essentially breakdown cover and a very comprehensive level of cover, I might add. So I had a look at this and um, there's things like uh, recovery to locations in the UK, there's courtesy cars as well, European cover as well. And I even looked at to find out how much that was on like the RSC's website. And although it wasn't particularly clear, I managed to find it in the end and it was over 200 pounds a year for that level of cover. And um, of course they've got home start as well. And um, one really, really good thing as well is that in most modern cars, there's a button up here so if you press this button, that will ring them, but it will also transmit the car's location. So you don't actually then have to describe kind of where you are because it transmitted your location. So that's a very, you know, very, very good benefit when it comes to um, that, um, you know, just in case like, say you've been on the holiday for, you know, a few months and you didn't have a trickle charger and the battery of the car got very, very low. Um, of course, you won't be able to easily get in the car to press the button, but there is a number on the driver's door, or you can just go on the website and find it. You can ring them and they will come out to you and help you out. So that is a, um, a very, very high level, huge benefit. Uh, of course, the final couple of things um, for Mercedes-Benz servicing. There's over 140 locations in the UK where you can get your car serviced, which is another one. So say you were on holiday somewhere and it just flagged up that your car was due a service. You don't have to wait till you get home. So you had a bit of spare time. You can just drop your car off at um, a Mercedes near you and then they can do it for you. So um, that's all really, really good. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, and this is a uh, little hidden thing that not many people know about. Say you bought a car from like a local garage or something that wasn't a Mercedes-Benz uh, dealership or, or something like that. And it had full service history, but it wasn't main dealer service history. Of course, in that scenario, you wouldn't have that roadside assistance cover, but you can actually still get it. So the way you do that is actually get it serviced at um, a main Mercedes-Benz retailer on your next service and they can actually bring it back in line so you get that cover. You know, just in case you want to bring a car back in line, so say you found a, a car like on a website somewhere and bought it and sadly it missed a Mercedes-Benz service or something, you can bring it back in line. I just speak with local Mercedes and they'll let you know what needs to be done to bring it back in line and then they can reinstate that roadside assistance cover. And then the final thing with service care plans, the price of that service plan is actually guaranteed for the length you take it out for. So say you took it out for two years or three years or four years, you pay the same price while you're on that plan. So essentially your um, price of labor and parts is actually guaranteed for the, for the length. And um, it's not actually a uh, contract either. So it's a direct debit and can be canceled at any time. So. There's quite a few number of benefits on that. Of course, it can vary from car to car. So check with your local Mercedes if you're not sure or have a look on the websites uh, that I mentioned earlier. So mymercedesservice.co.uk uh, and then the main Mercedes-Benz website for the service plan. So um, yeah, all around really good. Now, some Mercedes dealer groups also offer discounts depending on the car's age. So sometimes they might offer discounts if the car's over three years old or six years old or nine years old. So the best thing to do, just get in touch with your local Mercedes and they can let you know if the service care plan is right for you 
or if it's more cost efficient to stay on kind of pay as you go. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to these guys, Sandown Mercedes, as they help provide access to all these awesome cars you see in the videos. Until next week, guys, see you then.